What is up y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Wisco Angling. We're out here, little dam I've never been to, but I do know someone that was just fishing here yesterday, I think, or the day before, and was catching some nice brown trout. So we're gonna go down there, check it out. I already like kind of walked halfway down. It looks pretty treacherous, but I don't know if you can see that sign there. It's uh, one trout, 18 inch minimum. I mean, having that, it's gotta kinda tell you that there's uh, some decent trout in here, huh? But I'm not looking to uh, keep any trout anyway, as you could see on the sign. It is October 16th today, and that season here ended uh, the 15th. But I don't really like trout too much anyway. But look at that, like, I don't know if you guys can tell, like, on camera, but that is very steep. I don't know, I might fall. Oh, I'm gonna take a digger probably. Well, I'm gonna get down this hill. Hopefully not fall. Maybe go up to the dam up there. There was a car up there. I don't know if there's someone down here. I don't know if he's up there or over here. But we're gonna go check her out. Hopefully we can catch some trout. If not, I got a few other spots we can go try. So stay tuned. Should be a good one, eh? We made it. I did not fall. I mean, it looks nice. I mean, it is running pretty fast right here. But up and down, I'm sure I'll be able to find some. So if I'm excited, this is gonna be fun. We're gonna catch some truck for sure. I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to hear me because of the dam, but I'd prefer to be fly fishing right now, but I hate it. I hate fly fishing. It can be fun, but with all the line everywhere and I don't know, the guy I know that was down here was fly fishing, he was catching them all. I got some little rooster tails that I'm throwing here. Um I don't know, we're gonna see, might be able to go up here and get around and get closer. I don't know, we're gonna check it out. I still feel pretty confident here. Well, I just sat up at the, uh, like right below the dam for like 20 or so minutes. Took a good handful of casts, no bites. So we're gonna walk down here, see if I can get anything. Walk down as far as I can go. I don't have any waders on, which is stupid, but we'll go down a little ways here. If I don't get anything, I might come back up to the dam, take this rooster tail off and tie on like a, some sort of small jig. That way I can work it slower. I already getting snagged on something. It's real shallow in here. We're gonna keep walking down, see if we can find people somewhere. I'm sure there's one. Should be able to get a few, and if not here, like I said, I got a bunch of other spots up. I'd be surprised if we don't catch trout out, so. Obviously gonna be a trout video unless I end up getting the nag to catch something else that's close by. We'll get them going that way. really cold before when I first got here, but now that I've been... Ooh, that's a fish. That's a good fish. Let's go. What is it? Oh, it's a pike, I think. That's why. It's like a little pike. I think. Yeah, baby pike. <laughs> that's funny. That might be the smallest pike I've ever caught. Oh, I got four pound test. So I don't want him to... Uh... Look at that tiny pike. Oh, he's slipping. See if I can. Okay, I'm gonna. I got the hook out. Just gotta revive a little bit here. Pike are strong. There he goes. And he's off. I don't know where he went. He went out that way and then somewhere up in there. But not the fish I wanna catch. Probably the last fish I wanna catch, especially if I forgot my players and it's kind of a long walk to go up and get them. And I don't think he would have made that if I would have done that. So, But he's good now. We can keep fishing here. Hopefully, no more pike. Hopefully, we can get some nice trout. So stay tuned. All right, well, pretty much everything fishable from shore over there anyway is no longer fishable because, well, no, that's not, I didn't say that. That doesn't make any sense. Basically, I got to the point that I have to get in the water and start walking across. I got my, my nice boots on, uh, my last pair of boots. We're supposed to be waterproof, but they ended up not being waterproof. This is getting too deep. I'm not going to do it. Um, and water started getting in and it is very cold right now. And this water is also obviously very cold because it's a stream. I don't know, maybe I can walk along here. It looks good up there. I want to try and get up there. 
but I also don't want to get soaked because that would just ruin the day. So hopefully I don't fall. Although I'm sure a lot of you would like to see me fall, but that's not happening. I'm too good for that. It gets too deep. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, uh, oh, that sucks. Um, I mean, I can go up to the dam. I guess I can go up to the dam and throw something else on and see if I can get anything to bite. Otherwise, I guess I'm going to go back up to the car after that, go on Google Maps maybe, and see if there's another part of this stream that's real close that I can get down to. Because I like the stream. And hopefully we'll be able to get some fish here. So I'm debating on if I want to head back to the dam. I kind of want to. But it was pretty, still pretty shallow over there. I mean, I got snagged a handful of times. I prefer not to retie right now. Um, I don't know. We'll see what goes down here. Oh, it's a workout. It's like the dam over by my house. Well, I decided not to tie anything on to try the dam. I mean, I threw some more casts with the rooster tail. Uh, got a few more snags, we'll pop them out. There's a lake up here that I could take some casts into, and I guess I will. So why not? Now I'm gonna get back in the car, go on the old Google Maps and see. Uh, hopefully they have service. See what I can uh, find, hopefully get some nice trout, or whatever bites, I guess, but hopefully not like, oh, it looks deep here. Never fished this lake before. Take a few casts in here and see what the hay, who the hay. So, and uh, probably not stay at this lake. I've been right here for too long. And I already got leaves. We favorite part about fishing this time of year: all the leaves in the water. That's all you catch. You can't cook those. Yes, you can, but I don't need to get them. I don't need to. I should take my kayak out here. That'd be uh, that'd be kind of cool. See if obviously there's trout in this lake if there's trout right down on the dam and in the stream. I'll probably just take one more cast here and then cast straight out and then get back in the van here and try and go pee somewhere too. All right, we're at the second spot, just down the road, like a five minute drive here. And just looking down there from when I drove past, it looked pretty nice. Um, we'll see if I'll be able to find a way down there though. Going that way is private property, going to the right, so I'm gonna try and stay tight to the bridge here. I mean, it looks, it looks nice, it really does. But I don't know if I'll be able to, like, here's, a, here's a trail. That's yummy. Ooh, I just tripped on, what the hell is that, big vine? All right, Everybody looking good. See how uh, how far up or down, or and or down we can go. And I brought my players too, I put them in the, in the bag. They were sitting up there, I took them out of my other bag that I had in the car. And I guess I just forgot to put them in this bag. Get down here and hopefully we'll get one. Well, that was a bust. Oh. And exhaustion. Spot numero dos. My mall. So, back up and go to the next spot.
All right, spot number three was like a 15 minute drive. And this is a stream that I somewhat fish often. I like this stream. Uh, see if we can get any brown trout in here. If not, I know, I know a few other streams, but those are probably like a 45 minute drive from here or something. I don't know exactly for sure, I'll have to check. But I guess I really have nothing else to do, so we can't get it going. Someone's calling me. If we can't get it going here, then I guess we'll uh, hit that other stuff, so yeah. The camera was off, but I legit just got smack on that cast. A good bite. I was here the other day too, and I didn't ever land one, but I missed a lot of really nice ones. I came up like right next to shore at it. Like they were probably 13, 14 inches, which for this creek is it's pretty nice. I keep getting stuck on these leaves. I said, man, these leaves are everywhere. Get one more cast out at this spot. was a good bite though but usually when they bite once especially on these rooster tails here they usually get kind of stabbed a little bit with one of the hooks on there so they usually don't come back at it trout are usually pretty smart with that hopefully we can land one though a nice one so i'm not just leaving ending the day on a little pike that would suck wish i had like a long like stick mount whatever to put the gopro at the end of I if I did that, and I put it under this tree that's in the water here. I bet there's trout sitting under here for sure. Really no way for me to get in there though, but... I know we're gonna walk down here a little ways and then probably upstream after that. And see if we can make anything happen. Hopefully we'll land a good one here. here never not caught anything here so hopefully we'll be able to get a few they're just not as big in this little spot usually i get most of them on uh, a little jig with a like a plastic waxy but i don't think i have any of those with me all i got some worms so i could throw a little a little jig and a worm in there. See how that goes. But kicker here here for a little bit. It was only a 20 minute drive, so I might as well just retie right now. I just got a small hook tied on there, the worm, and a real small split shot up, probably about seven inches, seven, eight inches. So we're just gonna toss this right on in there and see if we can get anything to happen here. Okay, camera was off. I didn't get a good hook set, but I just had like a really nice trout on, like the biggest one I've ever caught from this spot. Holy crap, that was actually a really nice trout. Oh, that really sucks. And it came off because I went to turn the camera on. There's another one. God, that's a nice trout. That is a very nice trout. Holy ball sack. That is a very nice trout. I gotta try and get in the water. 
Oh my god, this is like the prettiest trot I've ever caught in my entire life. Come on, where's my line? Come on. Holy crap, guys. This is awesome. Look at that trout. Look at that. Look at that. So I'm horrible with trout species, but I'm pretty sure that this is a brown trout. Um, I'm going to get him back real quick. I'm going to get a picture quick and release. All right, took about five seconds. That water is so cold. There he goes. Wow, that was, that is awesome. That is legit the prettiest trout I've ever caught. Sweet. Ooh, let's go. My hands are freezing. It's cold. That was so cool. Barely biting it though, it was just barely in there. Another fish right there. This one's a lot smaller, but my hands are still a little wet. We're gonna get him here, grab him, unhook, and just light toss. And boom, fish number two. Another, that one was definitely smaller, but very pretty. Good thing I had worms with me. I took a handful of casts with the old rooster tail and nothing. So, gosh, they're so pretty though. Like, what is going on? Is it this time of year? I don't really trout fish usually this time of year. I don't know, keep getting casting there. I'm kind of just tossing it, letting it go down, and then just kind of slowly lifting up and then bringing it back down. It seems to be doing the trick. I'm gonna get another bigger one. The first two, the first one that I had bite that I had on was bigger than that one that I actually landed. It's cool though. Very pretty right now. Makes you want to go try some other spots too around here that might have some more pretty fish like that. Oh, that's awesome. I usually catch them here, it's real tiny. Getting him back. And he's good. I'd say we take a few more tosses here and then we move on, see if we can find some more bigger fish here. Hopefully we can find another spot with some more fish that are bigger. That'd be cool. Another one here. Another real tiny one. I just put my hands from that other one. This is like right after, so it should still be good. go it's tiny no was upside down but you see them get back in the water and there he goes all right well i think we'll move here um this fish is starting to get real small still fun to catch but i want to get some bigger makes me pretty trout that's something that's great another fish on the bridge oh it's pretty shallow it's too shallow all right well we'll pack up here and i'm gonna get back on google maps and see if i can find some of the other spots that i used to fish over here so Right, this spot was just right down the road, like literally a minute away. Um, I remember I fished here quite a few times, but the last time I was here, it was um, pretty low. 
compared to the times before, so, and I didn't get anything, but figured we'd stop here quick and see if we can make anything happen. Oh, another real tiny one. Hold on. Just down with the hands. Come on. Gosh. Sometimes it's oh, there he goes. It popped off. Got everything back. Left me my worm and everything. What a nice guy. What a nice guy. There's a bite. Yep, fish. Real tiny one. Just wet my hands like 30 seconds ago for that other fish. So, this guy off the hook, nice pretty. Oh man. Come on. And there he goes. All right. Let's say we go for one more fish in this spot here. And then we see if we can find another spot. Fish in a little stream for trout in the snow. Doo -doo. I remember last year, I think it was last year, Dylan and I were out fishing. Or two years ago, maybe we were fishing. Ah! Tree. Fishing a, uh, this is one of the stream spots that is right around here, actually. I, no, I never remember where it's at exactly, but it was like, it was like a foot of snow and it was still snowing pretty good. We were catching some nice trout. That was fun.
all right y'all that's gonna be it for this video uh caught some nice fish here but start snow starting to get pretty chilly and i gotta go back and do some school work and all that good stuff so thanks for watching this video y'all make sure you watch our previous video too uh that one chip challenge that was pretty fire like ha the pun it was spicy but <laughs> yeah thanks for watching y'all stay tuned for the next videos and i guess y'all see the snow it's getting cold here in uh wisconsin so hopefully we got some ice fishing coming up soon here within the next month and we'll be on the ice making some real good videos so awesome awesome